Like we're gonna we're, we're gonna start doing that shit now. We're gonna start doing all that type of shit now because now all the all of a sudden, you know, we we want to just go ahead and shit on the game right on the spot. So let me just put this as a perspective here. So they just released many different trailers for the brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield game. And the thing is, like, now everybody just constantly shitting on it. Everybody's still complaining about the same thing here and there. Blah, blah, blah. The, the graphics are not as good. But, da, da. Oh, man. Like I, 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 like, I don't know what's worse. Overwatch community or the Pokemon community? Because I don't know which which is worse. Like, we have the Overwatch community with the blatant stupidity that it has. And then we have the... Pokemon community with the blatant spoon-fed fucking mentality they have. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Pokemon Sword and Shield is a game that I'm getting. I'm going to get Pokemon Sword and Shield. I can't wait for it. I'm going to be getting both games, and I'm going to be happy about it. Knowing a lot of people being as spoon-fed and as high chair that they are, they end up complaining about something like, you know, the graphics, you know, that it's not up to par with things like the Switch. The animations, the models, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know what? All right, fine. If it's not the way you will like it, then perfectly fine. You don't have to like the way it looks. It doesn't have to be the way you like. Like, if people like it, then people like it. That's that's how it is. You can't change that. But then it gets to a certain point where they start, like, comparing the game to, like, Zelda Ocarina of Time and The Witcher. And it's like, what more stupid shit can you guys be on like seriously like the next thing that you guys want to do is blatantly just be like oh you know what ocarina of time and this have ha ocarina have better graphics than this like shut the hell up already you're comparing a game that is from years ago that the graphics can be updated until the update to what's now and you're comparing the witcher which is from a different company holy shit like i like what is it that you guys want like like, I don't know what, what, what type of bug or what type of Pokemon just, like, literally crawled up your ass and died. But the problem is, it's like, when do we get so spoon-fed and so freaking, like, spoiled about what the hell we want? Now, 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 when the actual people come out and say, oh, you know what, you're wrong, we have the new models, we have new models. And then they want to try to be like, oh, you know what, they're wrong for that. Then, then where the hell do you get to tell them that you're they're wrong? That's why people end up getting upset when somebody's like, oh, maybe you can do better or don't buy the game because of the fact that they're being told off by people who actually know about it. It's absolutely ridiculous. What's what's next? Um, like they were just complaining about the shape of a tree. Like why? why? Like why, why is that one tree or the tree designs... Like, so important for you to stop the game and just return it back to GameStop. Because I got into a, I got into an argument with this one jackass. And it's like, literally, this one jackass in friggin' the Facebook groups. He's like, he's like, oh, I, I, I don't understand. Why do people stand up for this game? It's because people don't get on their high horse and think that they're deserving of something just because they pay $60. The thing is, they don't bitch about a little specific thing that doesn't change the fucking gameplay, that doesn't change the story, or doesn't change how the game looks. It, it, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like, people complain about, like, the models being the same for the Nintendo 3DS. Oh my fucking god. Like really, like what what is it that you don't understand? Like you didn't complain about this when it was Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu that had the same models and that is a different texture. The models aren't bad. They're not freaking bad at all. It's absolutely ludicrous. It's absolutely stupid to complain about that. And then, like, it's like, oh, you know what? They're the only ones to use the same models. You guys don't bitch about Tekken using the same goddamn models from the first fucking game and then constantly updating it slightly. Like, seriously, what's, 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 what's next? Oh, the, the, the color of this guy's eye is two different colors. Or it's a different shade of blue. Or it's a different, it's like, it's a, it's like two millimeters smaller. Like, 
Jeez, like when do we critique stupid shit? Like like when do we critique like dumb shit that people don't understand? And then the problem is when people stand up for it, people get in trouble for standing up for it because we just don't fucking care and don't nitpick on the pathetic shit that other stupid people think about. If like you were to tell somebody who created a game that you didn't like didn't like their game, you think their game was bad, they ask you. Show us what you didn't like, what you didn't like. Show us what was bad. Maybe we can make a difference, make a change for you. And you would just say, oh, well, the game, like, the graphics are just bad. They would laugh so hard in your face and literally kick you out of the studio. There is bad criticism. And the fact that most of the people, especially in the Nintendo groups, have, like, bad criticism or they just sting mostly with their ass instead of their heads, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. And you know what the problem is, if you actually defend it, like, or defend the game, they'll call you a corporate chill or someone who likes to go for low quality graphics. It's like, when the hell do you think you deserve high quality shit? Like, automatically, when you were born, your high chair was made out of gold and your spoon to feed you your food was, like, made out of diamond. And then when you were fed the rice and beans or anything or, like, any type of mashed potatoes, you go ahead and put it in your mouth. You just smack the, the thing away and be like, oh, no, that food is not good for me. Like, what the fuck is, what type of shit is that? Like, jeez, man. It's like, it's like the next thing they'll complain about is, like, absolute fucking stupidity. And it's like... These are people that were complaining about but would still buy the game. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. It was first about the national Pokedex, like people need a thousand fucking Pokemon to play the fucking game. And then and then before it was now about like the animation, like people can do better and then when you get called called off to like, oh, can you do better? They're like, oh that's not that's not a reasonable argument. Of course it's a reasonable argument because you're trying to make criti critique on something you know absolutely shit about. And then when you get called out about it, it's like, oh, that's not, that's not good. You can't take any criticism. Yeah, because some criticism is absolutely stupid. If you critique on that or if you try to compare like a game now like Pokemon Sword and Shield to like Ocarina of Time, you're an idiot. If you try to compare it to things like The Witcher, you're an idiot. If you think that, you know, or you're entitled to higher graphics or higher gameplay or this and that when that's actually an opinion, you're an idiot. Just straightforward. Because a lot of people busted their ass to wake this game. A lot of people were busting their ass to get the money to get this game. And you want to try to get upset at people for actually liking this shit. Now, here's the thing. If you don't like the game, you don't want the game, you don't like it, then don't fucking buy it. No problem. I'm going to buy it. I saw the gameplay trailer. I saw the way the graphics look. It looks fucking amazing. It looks great. It looks fine. It looks awesome. Like, wh wh why are people complaining about this? Why are people such graphic gurus or gameplay whiz kids all of a sudden and never even made a game or never even worked with the programs to do so? It's absolutely horrendous and it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, I, I really would like to start, like, these podcasts or anything for, like, a good freaking note. But obviously I can't because of the fact that, you know, people are too fucking stupid with it. Alright, guys, but that's really my point of view on some people and their stupid opinions. Obviously, it's obviously a stupid opinion because of the fact that, you know, you know nothing about it. You're going to complain and nitpick over one thing that you think is going to be changed, but they don't care about that stupid opinion. But... As I said, go ahead, subscribe to the EHE community, turn on your notification when we get new streams and new videos set out. Definitely join us on Facebook, Discord, and make sure to subscribe to the moderators in the description. Make sure to go ahead and follow Randall20XX on his Instagram, Twitch, and Facebook. And make sure to contact him if you want good commission work based on video games, comic book, or anything um, specific that you're looking for. Also, make sure to go to teespring.com slash cycleworld. Go ahead and take a look at his merchandise, especially the t-shirts that are shown up here. And there's things from coffee mugs, beach towels, and wall wall um, accessories, and etc. Make sure to follow him at cycleworldgaming on Twitch and at cycleworldart on Instagram. Make sure to go ahead and follow Rose on Instagram and on YouTube. Make sure to go ahead and leave a like on his music. One of my favorite songs for him is Aura. And another song from him that I like is, Hi is Hypnosis. By all means, go ahead and take a listen to those songs. 
And also go ahead and follow Travis Brown on Instagram, on his Twitter, and make sure to follow him on his Spotify and SoundCloud, which are in those profiles. And make sure to download Letting Go, which is a nice um, download for iTunes, a pretty good song, pretty like 99 cents, a pretty good deal. And finally, make sure to follow um, Captain Kairos at twitch.tv slash Captain Cairo, and make sure to take a look at his merch on neonpublic.net. Alright guys, but this was another episode of the EHG Podcast. Um, thank you guys for watching, but this is your boy CrazeMaze98, aka Nicholas Morales, founder of the EHG community, and uh, stay tuned for another episode of the EHG Podcast.